I'm Ben. I'm Crystal. Welcome to Bikes, Booze, Bigfoot, where we ride our motorcycles places, have some adult beverages, and are generally obsessed with paranormal things. This trip is our getting high in Colorado trip. Four days of riding our bikes above 10,000 feet into the mountains in Colorado and sightseeing along the way. This is video three in this series. If you haven't seen the other videos, you might want to start there. our second day here at the Rocky National Park and uh, every time we've gone here even last year we have seen moose both times we rode past here this time it's not there, there's nothing out here which is fine uh, yesterday a lot of people slammed on their brakes and stopped uh, and there was a moose it looked very agitated it was on the other side of a very large fence which was good um, but everybody standing out there taking pictures and walking toward it we rode past it we didn't take any chances because they are murder deer and we were on motorcycles it just seemed like a bad idea apparently this is a big horn sheep pass I have not seen any big horn sheep uh, just moose and we saw elk a lot of elk yesterday but then it started sleeting on us so we kind of rode out without putting cameras or anything on we caught a little bit of it and we did get yelled at by another motorcyclist because we stopped and we're not supposed to stop on this trail but uh we had like five or six cars ahead of us that were stopped and we couldn't move so he honked at us screamed at us flew past us and almost hit some oncoming traffic that was fun um but we remained in line, did not pass anyone, didn't want to hit any oncoming traffic, didn't want to get run over by a moose. So there's the road to your left that we ride along. Um, a few years ago when we came here, there was a moose running through here alongside the cars, which it didn't look like it was going to veer into traffic, so fine. But then there was one like right off the road yesterday, looked very angry. Um, so had nothing to do with that one. <laughs> just ran off. So we are just kind of in the entrance. Putting I'm putting on sunscreen because I'm allergic to the sun. And we're up here uh, two miles above sea level. Get to a nice stopping point. Overlooks this valley. So there's kind of our view, what we're seeing up here. So that's, I think down there, that's where we kind of came in. Originally got some lakes where we've seen some animals, but... This is kind of the uh, bigger picture, if you will. Just pretty amazing. Okay, let me get up on the bike. Everything is locked down. I have the keys put away. There we go. Nice, okay. Oh my god, I did it. Okay. In this video, we rode to the summit at Alpine Visitor Center before turning around and heading back to Estes Park. To save battery on the cameras, we only filmed on the way down. So here we go, rolling down uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. Unfortunately, it's getting a little warmer. I kind of like the cold up at the top today. Today, yesterday was not as awesome, but it was only 60 up at the top, which was perfect with motorcycle gear. Yeah, I'm showing 66 on the bike. And we should have taken a selfie with Sarah. We met somebody from our old work here in Colorado. Which oh is yeah, I ran, <laughs> ran into folks who we haven't worked with for years, ran into them in the middle of Rocky Mountain National Park. So <laughs> what are the odds there? And we never see them back home, so I, I'm not sure what that was all about. A lot nicer weather. We've seen a lot more animals too, a lot of elk, and we saw a marmot. Oh yeah, the marmot was interesting. Looks kind of like a beaver. I mean, he, look, he was so scared. I, I, he jumped so high. It was so cute. Probably not for him, but it was for me. And what is that visitor center up at the top that we went to? What was that called? Alpine? The Alpine 
visitor center, Alpine Star Visitor Center, something like that. Yeah, we actually got to stop and walk around and hike a little bit and went into the store. And yesterday we couldn't do that because it started sleeting and we had to run out basically. Yeah, we got out of there. There's some waterproof or waterfalls, waterproof waterfalls. It's kind of funny where we saw the elk. That would have been a picture perfect for like a calendar. I know. And there's nowhere to stop. That's okay. I finally saw an elk in person in the wild, so. I mean, overall, today's been really just a good day, I would say. I, I think so, too. Um, the weather was a lot better, so. It rained so hard on us yesterday, my windshield is actually kind of clear. <laughs> so you can see some of the stuff through it. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, this is where that pedestrian crossing is, like on a curve too. I don't think they should have that here. <laughs> this seems kind of dangerous, but I suppose we shouldn't be going that fast anyway. But it's kind of a blind curve. And I'm not handicapped yet. I like the trees. They make me happy. You want to hit this hidden valley? We'll try it again. Actually hike it maybe. Yeah, let's hit it. Oh my gosh, there's nobody ahead of us. God, I didn't remember to put my chin strap on. You what? I didn't even remember my chin strap. <laughs> See, we are getting better. We're, we're, we're not tired. Finally. Oh. Well, I think the first couple of days, especially when it's super cold, we're really tired. It's kind of easy to yeah, slip up. Everything to kind of fall apart. Well, I put a, a sunscreen on like twice. I hope I didn't get any sunburn. Uh, like, yeah. So. Well, at least sun poisoning level sunburn. So. We've been staying more hydrated today, so. Yeah, I'm trying to. So we got here, what, 10.30 and it's uh, three. Three? We're I think that's pretty good. Five, six hours here. I mean, we could spend all day, but I don't, I don't know if we have the energy to hide, honestly. I think the better hiking is on that Bear Lake Road, but we don't have a pass for that due to okay. reasons. Oh, he's painting his wife, I think. Let's see if we see something over here today. I know. So far it's been two for two. Nothing today. Not today. They only come out when it rains. Notice that? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe they do only come out when it rains. I like how it says 
meadow closed. Like, who really goes out there? That rock is precariously placed. <laughs> Odd, it said it was going 35. I most certainly am not, but okay. Put it in neutral. So this is the uh, this is the main drag down uh, Estes Park, Colorado. I like that the Stanley Hotel is behind a Safeway. right by the hotel that inspired uh, The Shining, or at least the hotel of The Shining. Ten. I was gonna stay there, but it's uh, completely not air conditioned. There's no air conditioning in the whole... Seriously? Yep. Oh. Well, I mean, in Colorado... I think we can loop around. Nope, we're gonna UE. Okay, I'm gonna have to drive around because I am not talented enough for that. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Oh. It's a circle drive. <laughs> That's why I went. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I can't do that, I'll fall over. I gotta go around. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna make it. I think my wheel was just touching the curb there. Oh my gosh. Uh, go straight, I guess. Yeah, we'll go straight. I'll go to that Safeway. We'll find a brewery. Okay. It's hopefully open. We're good. It's kind of expensive to stay there. I think it would be okay to stay there without air conditioning in Colorado. Yeah, I think so. Anywhere else, it, I would say it absolutely not. not. Hot. Yeah. I don't think we've ever stayed here in this town, so I was a little bit reluctant. Yeah. Understandable. Well, yeah, this is Colorado uh, Estes Park. Pretty. We just drove in a bunch of circles. Yeah, well, we do that. Yeah, we do that. Okay, looks like it's over there. Rock Cut and Brewery. Are these parking spots? This is not a parking spot. Um, here? Okay, I don't know if everyone can see it, but it's out there. We got Rock Cut Brewery. We got Crystal sneaking in. Oh my God. I didn't sneak. All right, we just left the Rock Cut Brewery had a couple Tyndall Porters. Pretty good beers, a pretty fun little place, so I'd recommend that if you're wanting a beer. They do have a taco truck outside, which is pretty awesome. All right, there's our beaver hut. Did it sink pretty good? Yeah, we'll want to put a rock under that again. Okay. Yeah, that's going to keep going. For now, it's upright. Um, tomorrow should be a good day, planning to go down the Peak to Peak Highway and then ride up Mount Evans and back down and then to Colorado Springs and check in for the night. So, catch you guys tomorrow.
still going.